Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get better FPS and improve your performance in last ebook drop recently. Make sure to watch it till the end because this is going to be the only guide you'll ever need. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the compatibility settings. So for that, you have to open up Steam and then right click on your last epoch, go over to manage and then go to browse local files. Once you're in the game installation directory, right click on your last epoch.exe, go over to properties, go to compatibility, and then click on disable full screen optimization as well as change high DPI settings, override and simply click on application. Okay. And apply. I'd also suggest you guys to copy the file path over here because you're going to be going to need it in the next step. Step number two is the best window settings. And for that, you have to search for settings on your PC. Once you are here, go over to gaming, then go over to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off since it consumes a lot of memory in the background. Then go back to gaming, go to game mode and make sure to turn this thing on because it turns off unnecessary services and background applications as well as notifications for better gaming experience. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply click on that, go over to change default graphic settings. Then over here, simply click on optimization for windowed games on because it's going to help you reduce your input latency. Once that's done, go back to graphic and then click on the browse button. Now, right over here, you have to paste the game path and then add last epoch.exe right over here. Go over to options, select high performance, then simply click on save. Once that is done, close your settings. Now let's go to step number three, that is local group policy editor. And this is only for Windows Pro users. For you guys, you have to search for local group policy editor and you'll find edit group policy. Simply click on that. Maximize this file, extend the screen over here in the computer configuration. Go inside administrative templates, then go inside Windows components. Over here, you'll find app privacy and in here, you'll find let Windows run apps in the background. Double click on this thing and this window will open right in front of you. Now over here, you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Simply click on enabled right over here and default for all applications. Simply select force deny. Simply click on apply, click on OK, close your local group policy editor and this will help you to stop your applications running in the background. Before moving on, if you're interested in improving your game stats and being coached by a best player, this video sponsor Skycoach is just the one for you. Skycoach offers all kind of coaching, leveling up and improvement for your favorite games and you can get it for last epoch as well. They help you to level up your character, harvest resources, build your meta for fastest gearing and they have served over 150,000 customers. Skycoach is completely safe and the reviews are awesome. Skycoach also offers coaching in almost 30 plus games. So if you guys want to use Skycoach, you can find a link to it in the description below and use my code Bearfox to get 10% off. Now let's move on. Next step is deanimating your windows and setting up virtual memories. Over here, you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Once you are here, you have to click on adjust for best performance. Then click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Since both of them are going to help you to keep your windows look intact. However, disabling all other unnecessary animations, this will help you to increase a slight bit of your FPS. Now let's move on to setting up your virtual memory. And for that, you have to go over to the advanced section for process scheduling, set this into programs. Then for virtual memory, click on the change button and uncheck automatically manage paging. Click on custom size and set the initial size to 1361. This should be a little above 1 GB that is 1024. Now the maximum size should be half of your RAM. So for that you have to search for system information on your PC. Take a note of your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. Now you have to open up a calculator, keep it on the side, multiply your installed physical memory with 1024 and that is going to give you your installed physical memory in megabytes. Now you have to divide this thing by two and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in maximum MB without any commas. Once that is done, simply click on set and then click on apply. And that is how you figure out the best way to set your virtual memory on your PC. Next step is creating a restore point. And this is super, super important. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Look for system protection over here. You'll find local disk C. Simply click on create and name it last epoch. And over here, you have to click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore every settings back without any data loss. 
Now let's come to the next step that is last epoch FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply get it and open this thing up and in here you'll find in four simple folders. First one is the CPU priority in which I have left Intel and AMD priority. I currently use an AMD CPU so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. However, you can run the Intel CPU priority if you have an Intel CPU. Next folder is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets. So if you guys want to apply according to your RAM, you can do it over here. Once again, I've also left my reset to default. So if you want to get back to revert original settings you can always do that i have i need to use 32 gb ram but it can be different for you so you can pick it from the list over here third folder is the windows important tweaks these are not really necessary but i recommend you guys to do this for maximum performance it offers you to disable unnecessary services background applications disable downloading maps transparency enable clear page file at shutdown improve system responsiveness and win 32 priority separation once again, if you guys want to restore every settings back, you can always go back into revert registries and do it from there. But these all will help you to increase your FPS drastically. Last folder is the last epoch priority in which I have left the last epoch high priority file. It will help you to prioritize your game and improve it for better performance. Once again, you have to double click to run this and that is how you're done with the FPS pack. Last and final thing is the best last epoch settings for your PC and for that you have to open up your game. Okay, once you're in your game, what you have to do is click on the settings gear right over here and then in the gameplay section, make sure that display health bar above enemy is enabled and display health bar above players is also enabled. This is something that is my personal preference, but the main thing lies in the graphics section over here from basics to advanced. What you have to do is you have to follow these settings. Firstly is the master quality and for that I have set this thing to medium, but if you guys have a low end computer, you can set this thing to low as well. Then your display mode, I have set this thing to full screen and this is what you have to exactly do. Then your resolution should be your native monitor resolution and the brightness. For me, I have set this thing to medium, but you can also set this thing to bright. Next is advanced settings in which vertical sync I have set this thing to off, limit FPS I have set this thing to 300, maximum, limit background FPS turn this on and set this thing to 30, for shadow quality I have set this thing to low, then you have anti-aliasing I have set this thing to TAA but if you guys want you can always set this thing to SMAA or off again. For grass density, I've set this thing to off, reflection low, ambient occlusion and volumetric lightning very low, screen space reflection low, terrain quality low and once all of that is done, simply click on apply settings and you're good to go. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.